G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Got the emergency stove from Survival Supplies Australia. Now, it's not really a new design. I think I saw something similar to this about 50 years ago when I was a kid. We'll look over the box first and what it says on it. It says, easy to use emergency stove. No liquid, no priming, no wicks, no pressure. On the back they show you the very basics of using it. Uh, so you have to open, accommodates most camp cookware. One tablet burns for 8 to 10 minutes. Use multiple tablets to increase heat or offset windy conditions. Burn solid fuel tablets, stand on level, non-flammable surface when in use. And they've got the warning here, keep out of reach of children. Uh, store fuel tablets in a cool dry place wash hands thoroughly after handling uh, Let's see compact lightweight and strong Fold down size is 11.5 centimeters wide by 9.5 centimeters in diameter and 2.5 centimeters high So let's get it out Now this was a cheap one but quality wise when I've had a quick look at it it looks pretty on par with all the ones that you'll pay two three four times more for now it comes with eight fuel tablets and that's the size of this one and there's a packet and it fits nicely eight in there when it's closed up so let's take all these tablets out have a look at the construction of it now like I said you can get many different brands of these different colors different yeah different names on them different prices and are all very similar and this one has got two settings for when it's open so when it's close it's there uh, don't know if you can see on this side yet we've got one two three holes on this side one two three holes on this side when it's closed it's on the bottom hole and as we lift it up a little notch on this part here goes into the second hole and that's your first setting and then it will click all the way into the third hole for it to be at its maximum now it's, I've bought a couple of different size pots and stuff to show you what will fit on this the first one is my smallest one which I carry inside my Topes 550 and that's my Topes 375 milliliter pot so I'm going to set that to the first, the smallest and there you go, the 375 millimeter pot fits on the smallest setting and that's the 550 it sits in there quite stable even when I'm moving it around a bit it stays there it's not falling off now if I open this all the way the 550 uh, pot is too small for this stove and that is the same diameter as the 750 pot now this is the Evernew one and this is their 750 and that is too small to sit on it when it's fully open but if we close it up the same as the other one that sits on there nice and stable now this is a cup that comes with the titanium from Evernew again that will be too small to fit when it's fully open but again when it's on the uh, second notch it will sit on there nice and stable and I do have one more let me just go and get it now this is the other one this is the Dave Canterbury Pathfinder kidney shaped cup, mug, pot, whatever you want to call it now this one also is too small to fit on top 
So I don't think you'll get many pots wider than that. So that'll have to sit on the top there. Let's get it balanced on it there. And there you go. So that will sit on that and balance still. Now this is a strength test, this one is. I've got a canteen, which is 1.1 litres. And I want to see how strong this is. And this is full of water. So that isn't going to work with a whole litre. Seven fifty mil pot. Let's pour in here. All right, up to the six hundred mark. And it's just holding. Now, I found that gives slightly, but it's holding it, and that is yeah, the six hundred mil point. So let's let's put it up to the. The 700, shall we? Well, here we go. 700, and it holds the weight. Now, I wouldn't go any heavier than that. But normally, if you're going to warm one of your meals up, by the time you've put your MOE in there and the water levels only here so it's going to be lighter than this but say so the 550 for the make a uh, freeze dry meal they're normally about the 375 so that's up to about the four that's up to about 450 so that's going to take the weight of that nice and easy so like I said have a look all the holes in the bottom one thing I normally do is I normally put another piece of metal in there a bit of tin for the actual tab to sit on because as these start to heat up they do start to melt a bit and they do drop to the hole so to allow it to last a bit longer just put a small square about the size of your tab in there and I say these tabs last eight to ten minutes so we're going to give one a go. It's a bit windy here today, so the wind's coming from that direction. So we'll turn it that way. Lighter over here. Let's see how easy these tabs are to light. Not that easy. Oh, that's hot. I haven't picked the best day. When I checked the forecast yesterday, the forecast sunshine and about 20 degrees. And we're sitting underneath this barbecue area. It feels closer to the 14 15 degrees. So I was able to get that alight with the uh, the lighter and its windy conditions. So what we're going to do is just drop that down now. And I'm going to see if it'll manage pot of water so I haven't got that all the way down so it's not secure properly there we go that's it now while that plays off I'll put everything else away This one with the way it's constructed, this all being solid, 
it's giving you a fairly decent um, wind block. It prevents the wind blowing it out so easy. So it seems to be going pretty well. Let's just leave it a little bit longer. And we've got small bubbles beginning at the bottom of the pot now. And the actual tab is not far off being gone. So I think if it wasn't so windy, we may have been close to an actual rolling ball at this point. another one in there right, let's put it over the new one so that's one tab gone probably make a cup of tea or a coffee with that as it is it's not going to be boiling hot I think it will be hot enough Let's see what this does when we've got the second tab in there. to carry on burning. As you just saw then the actual weight of the pot. Made it collapse. Right. I'll push it all the way over here out of the way now, away from the camera. Not impressed with that. Yeah, I said if you're probably doing less than the the 500 mil that's in the pot there. 500 or four, yeah, about 450, 500 mil. That may have been okay. But as I got warm, it seems that the uh, the metal expanded, and it just just gave way. Nah, that's not going to go in the EDC pack it's not going to get used I think if I've got a larger pot if I'm going to put a frying pan or something on it and it's fully open it may be okay but with that that's me it's a big fail that's a shame I was looking forward to that I mean, it says on the bottom here made in China Maybe we should start paying a little bit more and get quality for what we pay for. Value for money and have it made here at home, either here in Australia or wherever you are. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and got something from it. Yeah, <laughs> it's just done my head in. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the video and got something from it. And now I've got an idea if you're thinking about getting one of these, whether still to get one or not. And if you're not a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos. Hit the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.